Listen up, because I'm only saying this once. The only good locust is a dead locust. Why these grub puke bastards attacked us on emergence day is anyone's guess, but they've made it pretty clear Sarah ain't big enough for the both of us. And that's just fine by me. These are the top five deadliest locusts. Boomers are dumbasses, even by locust standards. But they do carry some nice toys. The boomers' plan of attack couldn't be simpler. They see something, they shoot it, it dies. About as high a concept as these one-word wonders can handle. Boomers are as tough as they are stupid. You're gonna empty a lot of ammo clips before they finally go down. You need to be reminded they've been shot. At least you'll never have to guess when these morons are about to fire. Oh, shut up! Take a wrong turn in Sarah, and you'll probably run into a wretch. Or 50. Wretches attack in packs and swarm to your neck deep in the bouncing bastards. They also have this annoying habit of sneaking up behind you while you're busy with something much nastier. During our trip to the factory, we discovered that wretches turn into mini time bombs when exposed to emulsion. That wasn't in the pamphlet. Oh well, just means you get to send them out with a bang. I hate that sound. Their on guards are the elite of the Locust military. They're stronger, faster, and smarter than your standard grubs. Hell, they're probably smarter than most of you. And me, if that were possible. The Theron's weapon of choice is the torque bow, which they wield with deadly accuracy. So, unless you want an emulsion-tipped arrow parting your hairline, I keep my head down. That is one ugly lady. Berserkers may be blind, but this doesn't make them any less dangerous. They have a wicked sense of smell to sniff out careless gears, and... That never ends well. The only way to kill these slobbering bitches is to lure them into the open and fry them with the Hammer of Dawn. This is the face of evil. We had our first run-in with General Rom during a firefight near the Tomb of the Unknowns. He made quite an impact. Rom's one strong badass, capable of wielding a troika with one hand while exerting some bizarre control over the krill protecting him. Maybe he just wears the right cologne. 